Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Will, Prince Will, whatever you want to call yourself, William of Katie Cambridge, you have a lot of explaining to do. You guys, more and more information is coming out about Kate's video. Now, go watch those videos if you want detailed receipts on why people are saying, mm -hmm. Looks like Kins and Pals is up to their old tricks. But one thing they cannot deny is the way they are quietly releasing information that Will is not by Kate's side as he's led us to believe. Now, listen, I've assembled some stuff. I want you to watch it, but I also want you to keep in mind, right? Remember all that nonsense that they were saying about, oh my God, North Korea is trying to get us. Oh, oh my God, China, Iran. Can you explain to me how the dissonance between a week of the Associated Press saying Kinsen and Powell is not to be trusted, they're on the same level of misinformation as North Korea, and they turn around and say that Russia, China, and Iran are trying to spread a campaign of misinformation. Maybe the Associated Press said, you are the drama. You are the drama, William and Kinsen and Palace. Well, Carmen's granddaughter has an interesting theory. She said, do you know why the British media keeps blaming Iran, Russia, China for the internet furor surrounding Prince William and Kate Middleton? Because they want you to believe the British media's version of the story. I don't know how things go in the Brits, but baby, we have freedom of speech over here. And I'm not saying we have a lot of freedom of speech, but I got more than you. Anyway, right? She says, the truth is people are not fooled. They are saying that Prince William still seeks to want a divorce because at the end of the day, he wants to be a single king. Listen, again, again, ignore the stupid palace rhetoric because this is stupid. I think next time they're going to be calling YouTube bloggers ISIS sympathizers and they're going to be calling literally the Sussex Squad agents of terror, right? Again, I will say this once and I've said it again. Can we take a moment and appreciate can we take a moment and appreciate how completely unhinged Kinsen and Palace is, right? Like you couldn't write this type of comedy even with a Saturday Night Live skit. Or even if you made a satire of the Royals, this is truly, truly funny. I do want to say this though. Resilient Candy B on Twitter actually did say the plot is thickening because as much as William is putting out all these pieces about how he feels so brave and bold, uh, and is by Kate's side, they keep quietly saying that William is not by Kate's side. Listen to this. I talked about this in another video, but if you didn't see it, I'm going to talk about it here. Royal sources added that the prince was extremely proud of the courage and strength his wife had shown, not just in the past week, but throughout her ill health. They go on to say, and this is on record, William was not present during the filming of Kate's clip as it's understood that the princess wanted to record it on her own. Your wife, who was literally in the fight of her life, wanted to record a video on her own. Is this the same princess with the deleted tweet that wanted everybody to know that the picture Will took, she spent two days while she is literally getting treatment for her disease, photoshopping it? Is that what they mean us to believe? Is that what is going on? And now that Kate came out and did that video, which is being highly questioned, William wasn't around. He doesn't know anything about it. On top of that, he's extremely proud, though. On top of that, he said that he was shocked by Kate's cancer diagnosis because he found out when he was at his godfather's funeral. You mean to tell me the future queen of England took a month to get cancer biopsy where even for people in the NHS and Scotland and the UK take about 20 days? and she has the best doctors on hand. Again, this doesn't fall on Kate. This is Buckingham Palace, sorry, Kensington Palace and their lies. William was not present during the filming of the clip. Kate wanted to record it on her own. Remember after the recording, Kate released her own thing from the Princess of Wales. They said, however, insiders said that, she's believed, that she believed her recovery has been enormously helped by the daily support of her husband. Y'all, you know what? Listen to this, it's for educational purposes. Do not take what I'm saying as fact. I am. This is a conversation, it's my opinion. 
I show videos on what I base my opinion on, but I want you to take a moment. Yes, do your research. Listen also to these video clips and tell me what you think in the comments because y'all, um, what is what is Kensington Palace hiding? They're hiding what William's true goals and desires are. I don't know anymore, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you. Well, I'll see you after the jump. I'm sure they both are. I'm sure they both are. But do you know what? We've not heard one bean from William. Not one word. He's been asked in public how his wife is doing both pre and post the announcement. He's not said one word. And in fact, in two scenarios, he's walked off refusing to address the interviewer directly. I just think it's weird. You know, you've got all this press coverage now indicating how close Kate, Catherine and the King are. Conversations in hospital, private dinners. Is this all designed to trap William in this marriage, in a marriage that he doesn't want to be in anymore? That's the first thing that springs to mind for me. Why would the press be continually banging on about how close Kate and the King are when we've heard literally nothing since January? Why is all this news coming out now? Is it to confuse the general public, stabilise the royal family, a mixture of both? Who knows? What do you think? Morning. Back to it on a Monday with a sore throat. You know the score. Thanks for asking about it. And pew, pew, pew. Big love to all new followers, hint, hint, the same as existing followers. Let's translate this headline very quickly from the Daily Mail, linked by, leaked by Kensington Palace, not linked, leaked by Kensington Palace. We all know William went to see his wife once. This is basically saying, William, you're a really crappy husband because even your own father went more than once. The amount of backstabbing in the UK royal family is absolutely incredible. And don't even get me started on Harry and Meghan and how the press treat those pair. Don't get me started on that. This is an example of PR teams trying to elevate people to look nice, considerate, forward-thinking, kind humans. The reality of this stuff is, as we know, very far detached from that. What else is going to come out this week? I genuinely think from the Kate video on Friday, they're trying to bury a bigger story. And I think it's about Andrew. And I think it's going to be a shocker when it comes out. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Have a good day. Oh my goodness, the gaslighting continues. The BBC thinks that Kate's video on Friday rewrites the history of the past couple of weeks. Let's have a look at some of the things that it doesn't rewrite because guess what, Mr. BBC? New information doesn't rewrite history because it doesn't change what happened in the past. It doesn't re rewrite Kate being in a mum's black Audi with five wheels. It clearly wasn't Kate. Who the heck was it? Why, BBC, did you confirm that it was Kate? It doesn't rewrite the video of Kate and William at the farm shop when it clearly was not Kate, yet the BBC confirmed it was Kate. It doesn't rewrite the conflicting messages coming out of Kensington Palace in terms of activity, characters, actors and dates. By actors, I mean a person, not as in an actor on a stage. It doesn't rewrite anything at all. What it has done is made the public all over the world feel incredibly sorry for Kate because she looks very ill. But also, it's made the public all over the world incredibly frustrated that the video, again, appears to be heavily edited, appears to have been filmed inside, behind, in front of a green screen. After all the collusion and misdirection from the media over the last three months, the last thing we needed was a video that been published that's been edited again. When will the media outlets ever learn that gaslighting is not the future and that the public deserve the truth? The comments are open. It's entirely up to you. It's wearing thin, guys. Buckle up, TikTok. Things are about to get even crazier. So following Kate Middleton's video revelation to the whole of the globe on Friday, some independent organisations have now submitted what's called a FOI, a Freedom of Information request, directly to the BBC, asking the questions that you can see on the screen. I will make it big at the end of this video. Now I've got good editing capability. 
Essentially, a FOI, a Freedom of Information request, allows any individual to ask questions of a public body and receive a response in writing within a predefined timescale. Interesting, right? Let's not get excited yet, though. We've all got our opinions on whether the video is genuine or a combination of genuine and ungenuine footage or AI. We've all got our own opinion. But if this request is answered, and by the way, there's lots of people making these requests, we will get the truth. I say if because it's too early to pop the champagne corks quite yet. So... The content was made by BBC Studios, which is a commercial entity which is 100% owned by the BBC. Now, technically, BBC Studios, because it's a commercial entity and it's not publicly funded, do not have to respond to a Freedom of Information request. Freedom of Information requests is for public bodies only in the UK. I know, complicated, right? However... The BBC may be forced as a public body which receives income from BBC, stu BBC Studios to respond on their behalf. Plot twist, I tell you, this thing is not going to go away. We've all got our own views on Kate's video. Some are positive, some are less than positive. A response to this is going to settle the situation and everyone's point of view once and for all. What do you think? Comments are open. I'll make it big on the screen right now. Catch up with you later. It's pretty much, excuse me, it's pretty much over for the UK royal family. But do you know who hasn't realised it yet? The UK royal family. The business of the royal family is coming to an abrupt end. We've got closet racists, missing Kate, Prince Andrew with two decades of questionable friends and questionable activity. A king that's out of touch with the majority of the population and demonstrates little value. Prince William, who does an average, I think it's one engagement a week, yet takes millions of pounds out of the UK. And we have millions of children growing up in poverty. It's time for change. The, the relevance of the royal family ended with the death of the queen. It really did. And, um, you know, there's no need for a public debate, a public vote about whether... It's appropriate to have a monarchy in 2024. We can't measure any good they bring. All we can measure is the amount of cash that's being taken out of the economy. And that's the sad fact. What do you think? Comments are open.